Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your girl Tanima with Tanima 911 Thursday fashion tip of the day. You know, what's interesting is that a lot of times people come to me and they like what I wear or whatever and they say, oh, I can't wear that or whatever. So it's always like, what can I wear for my body type? I have a really good answer for that question. Whatever the hell you want. It's not really so much wearing what is right for your body type as much as it is about what makes you feel comfortable and what you feel beautiful with. You know, a lot of times, you know, it's always, I don't want to show my stomach. I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. Society have placed into us that the faux pas we have or whatever that we have is just not a good look. So therefore, we look for things that we say, oh, you know, I'm going to you know, try to hide it or whatever the case may be. And I always say, again, wear what you feel comfortable with. If you don't care about your stomach, nobody else will, you know, no one is perfect. So it's about comfortability for me. It's, you know, the one thing about women over 50 is our weight fluctuates really bad because of menopause, because of all these other issues that we have going on. So a lot of times, we have border weight, we gain weight, we lose weight. It's just an up and down battle for us. So therefore, you know, clothes maybe that we could wear six months ago or, or the previous season, we come into the new season thinking that they are going to fit when actually they don't. So we that's why I say wear what makes you feel comfortable. Now, I'll say for me, um, I am a person that for the most part, I like all one color. I am big, big, big on one color. Um, yesterday when I did, I showed you I had an orange, orange with the navy blue jeans. You know, I usually stick more to a darker bottom if I do do colors or if I do colors, I do sometimes like to wear completely all the same color. It elongates you. It does give you a slimmer look. And you can accent the areas on your body in which you want to do. I I have a little pooch or whatever. Um, I don't care. I don't care. My man's not complaining. Who cares? Like, I just don't care. So um, I still work out as much as I do or whatever. And like I said, my weight fluctuates up and down. So I always say, you know, go what's comfortable. This top I actually got from Fashion Nova. It's actually long in the back. A lot of people like that. You know, the high, the booty right? Like we, we into hiding the booty or whatever, and it's really loose back there. But what I did was I just took an elastic and you can actually put a pen or something here to give it a little fashion. But I did it because I wanted the, the slim to come in, right? I don't really have a gigantic stomach. So, um, it does, once you put this in front, it does kind of hide a little bit and gives you that slimmer, slimmer look all the way down so and I just added some uh Shopakira gold pieces that I have I'm not really a big jewelry girl or whatever but you know like I said people a lot of people ask I actually don't even have any shoes on <laughs> a lot of people have asked you know for their body type what do I suggest for their body type and I don't I I think you have to wear what you feel comfortable with and also what i will say is that one of the things that's very difficult that a lot of people have a problem with is style right there's a big difference to what you can wear versus you having style right so that's why a lot of times people hire stylists or whatever and one of the things that a lot of people will come to me and they'll say I have so many clothes, but I just don't know how to put things together. So, and you'll see more and more pictures come through about me putting things together and how I combine things together or whatever for my body type. Um, so, you know, a lot of people say, well, what size do you wear? So I am a large and a top and depends on the, it depends on the bottom. I wear 12s or 14s on the bottom, but it depends. You know, skirts, I take larges if they're stretchy, you know, but it depends because, and I, I'll tell you something else, I could care less what the size of something is. If it don't fit, I just go with size up. You know, I don't, I don't care. Like there are some people that care about what those labels say on the inside. I really don't care, but I will say, I do have a habit sometimes of buying stuff too big. Like this is too big. This is a large. I could have took a medium in it. 
Um, but like, this is the problem. We, we see ourselves, right? We look at ourselves and we just swear we bigger than what we actually are. And that also comes with buying stuff online because sometimes we don't always trust the sizes of, of what we um, buy online. So, you know, style is definitely another bag of bones that, you know, I always suggest get with somebody on style because um, I'll show you how to put some things together. But one thing about me and my babe, we have style. We can put outfits. He is amazing at putting things together for men. And he's actually going to be popping in on some of our videos too. So, you know, once again, you know, to answer that big question, you know, um, what, how do I dress for my body type? Dress how you make you feel beautiful, how you feel in those clothes. Cause here's the thing, there could be somebody that's like shaped like me, but I could take one of my outfits and it doesn't look right on them. Cause I'll tell you something else that looks actually looks pretty good on me but I took another girl and it really didn't look that great on her is Palazzo pants. Like I can wear the Palazzo pants, but some big women cannot wear the Palazzo pants. And what I mean by Palazzo is those big flowy pants. So I usually suggest that if you go with the Palazzo pants, don't make the whole outfit big. Do the Palazzo pants with a bodysuit or something more fitting at top. So the focus is you'll see the flow of the pants accentuated with a beautiful belt and so forth so that you know you get this complete outfit so it's it's again it's about what how you feel what you feel in those clothes and if you don't like the way you look you know just keep trying and then get other people's opinions you know um and you want girlfriends that are going to be honest right not people that's going to just be yes people and say oh my god girl you look beautiful when you actually don't like the way you look or feel because it's about you so feel for you but then get you know tell your friends you want honest opinions about it so again um that's my tip for today doesn't matter where what you feel is beautiful on you and understand that what you see on the mannequin might not always look like you on the mannequin so you got to try clothes on and you got to make sure you're you're clear on sizes so again me i don't care my sizes extend so big it's crazy i i don't care if it don't fit i just go a size up i could care less what what it says and i my weight fluctuates so much that i'm glad i have these ranges and clothes because then when i'm going through these stages of where my um graves disease start acting up i immediately when my graves disease comes out of remission i immediately start blowing up and you know that's a whole that's a whole nother bag of a conversation but a lot of people have a misconception they think with graves disease and hyperthyroidism that you automatically get skinny and you do not that is not everybody's um like uh result of graves disease um, it has attacked my heart. I've been dealing with it with the heart side and um, Graves disease is no fun. So um, just understand that feel good. If you're feeling bad physical, you know, um, health wise, dress what makes you feel good about yourself. And that's really all that matters. All right, you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, Tanima911, for more tips, motivation, inspiration. Babe will be coming through on some of this stuff. And any other things that I could come up with that's going to help you out will be right here in my closet doing Tanima911 fashion tips and motivation and inspiration. So again, please subscribe, make sure you share. And if there's anything I can do that you want to know about fashion wise or whatever, hit me up, send a message and we'll see what we could do. And make sure you follow me on Tanima911 Instagram. That's T-H-A-N-I-M-A-S Tanima911. Um, and um, I post pictures of stuff that I wear and everything over there. All right, you guys have an amazing day. Peace out.